Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee, Paper, Scissors. I'm finished with the journal, you guys. Uh, the Care Brandon Retro Picnic Journal. And I thought I'd come on and do a quick flip through of it. It is sold already. So unless she changes her mind, this will not be uh, posted on my Etsy. So sorry about that if you were waiting for that. Um, I love how it turned out. So this is my first time I've done that I can remember a soft covered, you know, and it was hard, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. The people who do these all the time, I don't know. I suppose it gets easier, you know, when you do it all the time. But this part, sewing it in, there's no real guide, you know. I mean, for me, this was hard. and uh, But I managed. Um, so on the front, we have these clusters that we did together a few videos back. There's one down here and one up here. And then the closure is attached back here. And I showed you guys how I did all of this in a previous video. Um, it's made from a, a bubble envelope. So it's a little bit noisy, but not terribly so. And then it has this, you know, pretty little bow for its closure. And we're going to go ahead and go on in and see how it turned out. I'll make sure I'm kind of centered here. Okay, so in the front pocket, we have, I took one of the pages from the kit and printed it and folded it in half and stitched around it to make this journaling card and then added this here on the side. And then here I added, I just put another piece right over the top of it. Um, I felt like it needed to have a little bit more substance to it being the first page. And then this is uh, something that I took out of my, my book that has tablecloths in it and I put it away. So I don't have it right now. Um, but so it's just the, it's very thin, but I didn't want to, I don't know, I just wanted to leave it so that you could see both sides, the tablecloth that's on both sides. And I figured this is pale enough that you could write over the, the top of it. And then I just added some fabric and this burlap flower. And so then the thumb punch here makes it so that the burlap flower can just slide down in like that. And then this is an envelope um, that the other side, you know, it's a giant envelope that I opened up the flaps. So it has the pocket here on the front with this tag and then it holds it closed. And inside I found these really cute vintage recipe cards. Isn't that adorable? So that's what's on the inside there. And so then that holds it closed this little, you know, lacy stuff here. And then here in this pocket, I have a another recipe card with cherries on it. Little fabric tab. And then here we have the vintage um, Get Well Soon card. So that opens, it's got a little glue, that opens all the way up for journaling there. And then in it, I found um, a quilt image from a quilt book that I have, and I backed it, so there's lots of journaling space on the back of that. And I thought, you know, it would be very nice to have a picnic on a quilt, and I thought the colors went well. Little fabric tab with a butterfly here. The butterfly matches over here with that color, and the color of the rose. And then um, one of these little napkin colored napkin covered tags that we did several videos ago a little flip up a doily and so then I found a banner that was the pioneer woman banner at um, Walmart that I showed you guys that I took apart and I used one of the flowers in the banner as a tuck spot and then I have this journaling card vintage little refrigerator there. She's getting ready for her picnic. I have lots of recipe cards, guys, and I figured this was like 
a good book to use them in. A little sticker. And then here we have an envelope that opens up with this tag. And then the tuck spot here with some strawberries stitched around with fabric. I put um, a little doily down here so that kind of hang out a little bit um, beyond when the when it's closed. You can see it. I thought that looked pretty. And then here we have a pocket made from another uh, page from that tablecloth book that I have. And this is the tag that's in it. A little tab and a little flower bread. And then here is one of the banners from the Pioneer Woman banner thing that I found at Walmart and I made a flip up out of it. And then here I just added um, one of the fussy cuts from the kit. Little pocket here that opens out and you can journal here. And then this tag. from the kit. Some of them, yeah, it's from the kit. It's all from the digital kit. And then I have this really pretty. This came from Susan in a happy mail. Thank you, Susan. I love the way it looks right here. I added a little vintage strawberry button on a bulb pin down here. Um, and then this here, just for journaling, you can add a picture, you could add, you know, whatever you want. I, there's a little bit of hot glue string. I feel it. And I put a fabric tab with some rickrack and a button. Little label here. And then over here, this opens up for journaling. Slides in there. And then we have this little belly band on the pocket. Fabric tab here with the big heart button. And then here we have the bag, it's centered of the signature of the bag with the, the rickrack and the fabric and then these two tags. And then on the, um, you know, the threads, I added these beads. In this pocket, my little strings. We have these two tag tags. And then in this little pocket here, we just have um, it's a piece of scrapbook paper. And I just sewed some rickrack ribbon, nah, gingham ribbon to it. Added some lacy trim here, some lace trim a little bit from the kit and then this is a, a little fold down for journaling and then also you know you can flip up you can put things here and then I added the gingham up here with the button some little lacy looking trim there this from the kit another flip up and then I just added this little bit of lace to top it off. And then in this one, I added this um, little clip with some gingham ribbon on it to hold the recipe card in. This is a Mary Inglebright recipe card. I thought the colors went perfectly. And then, but it's kind of loose in there. So I, this holds it in nice and tight. Red little ribbon, I mean, trim there. And then a little journaling card I sewed around. More from the kit. And then here is a card. Lots of journaling, but I just put it in as a tuck spot. And so then in here, I added this really pretty um, picture of not butter pecan crisps, <laughs> but
but you could make some butter pecan crisps. These are those lace cookies. I've actually made them before and they're pretty good. But it's a really pretty picture, I thought, and it went with the colors, so I added that in there. This opens up and is there's a pocket here. And then the journaling or tags here. And um, handmade by me. And then this one opens up and inside is another recipe card. Little pocket here with this tag. And then this, um, you know, menu planner list, I just glued it down onto this paper to make it a little more sturdy. And then finally, another, I took another one of the pages from the kit and I folded it in half. I shrunk it down a little bit and folded it in half, made a journaling card, stitched around it, added some um, lace tab and a couple of flowers. And there we go, you guys, that is it. So it was a little bit more than a week. I was going for a week and I think it was a week and a day or a week and two days. I'm not quite sure. But like I said, it's spoken for unless she changes her mind. If she changes her mind, I might just have to redo the video and say that it's available. I don't know how I'll do it. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Let me see if I can get this tied. It always is a bit of a fuss to me to get it going in the, the right direction. And then I end up tying it and retying it and tying it and retying it. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.